Will Disney's new movie, Chain Can Dunk, be an inspiring hit for the young Asian American community? Or will it be cringy? And also, why does it seem like stories about Chinese people always are so wholesome and cheesy? Oh, man, we got to talk about it. So many people messaged us and they were like, please, can you give us our hot takes, you know, on Chan Can Dunk? The trailer just dropped. Andrew, I would say the reactions were more possibly even negative than positive. But I will say three things first, Andrew. Nelson's in the film doing some background work and some stunt work. Uh You uh, do know the director of this film. I met him before. And and basically, I am going to tell my nephews to watch this film because it's still going to be positive Asian American male representation. But... All that being said, Andrew, we're about to break down the film just based off the trailer that we've seen and uh, get through some of the reactions and obviously get to the big question, Andrew. Why does so much Chinese American content seem like it's so cheesy? So make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications, man, and let's just get into it. All right. So first off, guys, I want to say uh, it's a Disney movie, and I know that the trailer probably didn't do a good job. I think the trailer's underselling the movie personally. Yeah, there's some good parts to the trailer, yeah, too. Yeah, and there's some good aspects of the cast and the vibes. I think, like, the language being used and some of the jokes. I can see that there's going to be some fun moments. I will say that it looks cheesy in a sense, but you have to understand, one, this is a Disney movie, and Disney movies always have a lot of messages. They always do. They weave Message. in. Message. They weave in culture. They weave in family values. They weave in adolescence, masculinity, who knows, high school dynamics. They always talk about it in these movies, and that's what Disney movies are really good at. Also, I also don't think this movie is really meant for a lot of the people commenting. I think Due to social media, we see the trailer of this movie getting posted on all these accounts that we, as like older people, follow. However, if this was a world without social media, I would have never even seen this trailer. But inevitably, it is going to be lumped into the Asian American representation movement, right? Because, you know, as much as there has been an increase in Asian American projects getting greenlit, it is still very rare for them to get big budgets, let alone from studios like Disney, and let alone being about a Chinese guy trying to dunk. Obviously, there may be some multi-global market considerations in the sense of they're trying to import this movie into China as well. Yeah. I guess, David, What's uh, before we get into breaking it down, which there are some pretty funny comments about this movie, uh, about at least about the trailer whoa what what did the director say about it just so everybody knows because we're gonna we're gonna give it a fair shake well he basically said in a town where there aren't a lot of asian american families sometimes you don't know why people are treating you a certain way and that's why the dunking was so important because there's an objective goal it doesn't matter how people perceive you or you perceive yourself it's just whether you can or you cannot because long story short it's about a 16 year old kid andrew he's in the band he's a nerdy chinese kid he likes this hot chick in his band and but then there's this like you know, cocky white Mac McClung dunking jock who challenges him. And he's just like, you know what? I'm not going to be this like low status, low SMV guy in the <laughs> high school anymore. Yeah. I'm so sick of it. I mean, dunking is just a vehicle for him to change. So I think that's really what it's about, even though the dunking aspect seems silly. But uh, yeah, I mean, you got to dunk- think about it. If you saw some little band geek, right? And then he just starts rapping all of a sudden you're just gonna be like oh wow this this is not the kid that i thought he was or if all of a sudden he just walks up in gym classes and then just off of two feet dunks it you're gonna be like oh this kid's different you know yeah it would change your perception of him um some people said immediately andrew why does it seem like a disney version of boogie and then they had a bunch of pictures that like really matched it up shot for shot i was like oh yeah there's definitely some similarities yeah yeah well I boogie's mean, like the hood grown-up version of chan can dunk yeah logical okay yeah i get i get the comparison uh, what else did people say? Some people said, uh, I don't know, man. It looks like a low-budget Netflix teen movie, man. Uh, did Disney really make this? Yeah, maybe not all Disney movies have the same budget, but, I mean, I thought it looks okay. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they could have shot it in L.A. and, like, maybe made him actually competing with Mac McClung for, like, the starting <laughs> spot. You know what I mean? Like, maybe they, he didn't have to make it as, like, stark contrast. Maybe, I don't know. They could have filmed it in South Pasadena. Well, well maybe you, you, you'll you start producing movies, David, and then yeah. you can go produce it all in L.A. and save a bunch of money and then pay for this and that. Yeah, I could do it. I don't know. I have the skill set. Um... Somebody said looks cool, but only for kids, though. Maybe for something, somebody kids like uh, K through eight, you know, <laughs> up to 14 yeah. years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I, I think that's mostly who it's for. And then, of course, there were the troll comments. Basically, somebody said, uh, why not just make a Jeremy Lin biopic instead of doing this weird Walmart version of it? See, look at all these oldies commenting on this <laughs> Disney movie, man. The funniest one, though, was the, uh, yeah, I like the part where he ate dumplings and then karate chopped the bully. 
That's goofy. Somebody man. said uh, this feels sort of weird and awkward, almost like a troll parody of like a teen inspirational movie and not an actual inspirational movie because there were so many parts that seemed like hyper unrealistic. I mean, dude, it's a Disney movie. Like if you watch any of these Disney movies, which I actually enjoy them, Luck of the Irish, Wendy Wu Woman Warrior starring Brenda Song. These, these movies that I watched back, Brink, Johnny Tsunami, classics. Like if you watch the trailer right now, you'd like probably think it's kind of cheesy too. But when you watched it, at that time in your life, you took so much away from it. Right. Disney movies are primarily designed to probably, what, have enough depth that the parents watching it with the kid, they appreciate it, and yeah. then the kid can appreciate it whether they catch uh -huh. the message or not. What, what I would have liked to see in the trailer, though, is some Asian parents. I think the parents' yeah, dynamic some filial piety. is always a good one, and... Yeah, I mean, I think there's some things missing of the trailer, even though the trailer's like two and a half minutes long. Somebody said, uh, why does the guy have to be kind of like a stereotypical Asian nerd that's just like not cool, even though he's trying to be cool? Why couldn't he, be, he have been like a band kid and a good student and actually been cool and just trying to balance it all and then compete with the white guy? Well, yeah, exactly. Everybody's, no one's going to be happy, man. Dude, you could have changed the antagonist. Oh, it's not a white basketball player. It's a black basketball player. And then everybody been like, oh, this is white. It's the same man. There's always comments. All right, Andrew, let's get into the takeaways. I guess why is Chinese American content, and I'm not saying don't watch this. Watch uh -huh. Chang Can Dunk, by the way. Why does it always seem like it's kind of like made for a church leader, Vala Victorian model minority Chinese guy. Because obviously, everybody knows that's the stereotype of the Chinese American culture, even more than other Asians. I think all Asians have it, but like particularly Chinese Americans, this embrace of the model minority myth. Obviously, he's trying to break free from it in this piece though. But like, why does it seem like, whether it's fresh off the boat or ABC, which is this new uh, American born Chinese, even though it's got all the stars in it, it's always based around this kid who's like, yeah, I'm a straight A student. I'm not cool at school, but I want to be more. What if I had a different life where I was the monkey king? Uh, actually, ABC and Disney, they're all the same company. Oh. So, uh, I guess maybe it's a Disney thing. You know what I mean? Uh, I, or, I, or is it a reality thing well, and I, a Disney thing? I, I and think, Disney's trying to get multi-global markets and they yeah, have censorship or whatever? I think that it fits. I think a lot of Chinese families do fit into that stereotype. I do think a lot of Chinese backgrounds, I think Chinese people generally are pretty conservative. Of course, we all know, if you know enough Chinese people, you know that the other side of Chinese, there is a street side, there is a more, you know, Boogie kind of tries to reference Some people's it. parents are like actual gangsters. Yeah, I mean, yeah, amongst other things, you know what I mean? So, but that's just not something that I think one, Disney would ever want to put on. And two, it's maybe not what even like, maybe other Asians want to see. Like, or, I don't know, right. Asians... I think Asians have a lot of space for wholesome content. Look, look at our pop music in Asia because Asia is a very like censored society. Even Korea, it's very, it's still pretty clean. Right, it edgier be, than China. Yeah, though, it's yeah. a little sexier and edgier than China, but really, it's not. It's not that edgy. Like these pop stars cannot be doing edgy stuff in their life, right? Or, or they or just else. go to jail for a really long yeah, time. Yeah, literally, if they're like smoking weed, they're like getting arrested like crazy. You know what I'm saying? So I guess like at the end of the day, we have to understand that the true Asian life that comes from Asia, a lot of it, not all of it, but a lot of it a is- A higher percentage of it. A lot of it is kind of conservative in some sense. Right. You know? And um, I think that we're guilty of playing into that too, right? Andrew, we made a bunch of music videos that got millions of hits, Boba Life, Asians eat weird things. You know, some people criticize some more than others that, that those were like very much playing into the modern minority myth or like the yeah. evangelical <laughs> Protestant Chinese church world. I mean, but I, I think that's- I mean, people would say the same thing about Wong Fu content back in the day. It's like, if that's where you're from, like, I mean, isn't this the isn't this just the excuse that rappers make? Be like, oh, why do you talk about guns and drugs and all this stuff? That's where I'm from. I'm just telling the stories from the streets. I don't know. Like, right. These are just stories from my Tell, childhood. Telling the stories from the geeks. Yeah, I mean, to an extent. I mean, yeah, I do think that there is some marketing play and everybody thinks about marketing and, oh, people are going to like this or people respond to this. So yeah, it is what it is. But I think that there is a thirst for the other way. But at the end of the day, if there's not a large enough population of people within our community that act like the other way, and then, then those stories will not get made. Yeah. I would say that people are going off like the bulk distribution, you know, on a growth, you know, when you like do a plot chart curve. I mean, people are going off I, the bulk distribution, which is like the majority do, of the people in the middle, right? Do we need to show them the Two Bridges trailer? Do we yeah. need to show you the Two Bridges? I'll play it right now on the bottom there. 
Look um, at this. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think of the Chan King Dunk trailer. Are you going to watch it? Why do you think so much Chinese American content is like so cheesy and wholesome? And is that good or bad? Anyway, until next time, we're the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.